Loki, fellow Bogenhagen chief. If we've anything to fear, it is not our fellow man, nor any creature of Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. And so I bid you, dear children, to join hands and come together for you. Right this way! leave anything to fear. It is not our fellow man, nor any creature big or small, with whom we share our home. It is that which comes from beyond the time which disrupts the natural order.
souls in wait. Put your faith in our great mother. She would never forsake us, never abandon us. For we this village is lame. Did you know none of the materia here is even real? And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. Take her bounty for granted and offered up prayers of gratitude. No man Fancy running into you here. Say, how about I get a shot of you giving thanks to the planet? The canyon's also famous for its unparalleled view of the starry night sky. I made sure to bring all my night photography equipment along. Can't sleep until I've got the perfect starlit shot. Just let me know if you find any good photo spots. So expansive and enthralling. Our planet is the greatest artist. The way the shafts I invite you to do so now. Set free the secrets. Of Tell me. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. Which would you say is a more worthy pursuit? They are both one and the same. Wouldn't you agree? I ask you this. Who among you has looked in? A seminar is in progress. I've, uh... Always Please continue on into the assembly. The physical stuff. Painting and poetry are more my thing. My old man, he... He used to say it was a waste, me spending all my time indoors. A cool. What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Okay. I, uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place but there was also conflict a war between the planet and its enemies and i can't i mean we can't let them win we need the planet and it needs us we have to rise up fight back defend it from this terrible threat thing is i don't know how to do any of that and I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. See you at the festival.
The River of Light ceremony will begin short. This night comes but once. I've no doubt you'll feel her grace. There is no seminar being held here at the moment. Can I help you? Huh? We are simply... I need to rest my brain. We yearn to chase the horizon. Embrace exploration. So many tourists. Must be quite the festival. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? You did good. Can't help it if they suck at listening. I got what you were saying. I kind of wanted everyone to get it, though. To hell with everyone. Great advice. Thanks. Some carry a fire that rivals even this. I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor. Said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? No, we fight, or nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. Wow, so many tourists. Must be quite the festival. Look at them, gathered around the fire. Just like us that day. Me and Mom and Dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. I'll lend an ear. Whenever I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride, I, I feel like it'll burst. But when it comes to my dad, I just... Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. When you die, you return to the planet? Psst. That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Pretty much. Thank you. So if you get that, you get why I live every day like it's my last. To see what they've got. Some say we're like grains of sand on the beach of the universe. Fatalist idiots. Spend my whole life trying to prove them wrong. But sitting here, looking up at the sky, you kind of help feeling pretty minuscule. If people everywhere resolve to not take her bounty.
So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients. Or, to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will. I've been watched. I've been ignored. Even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never gonna be normal. That much was clear. It's okay. <laughs> so my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay, happy even. And all that pain feels worth it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. There! It is time! <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> Pretty sappy, huh? Every word, though. So, this is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean all of you. Join me. Would you? 
What's Did you all think of the river of light? For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale as of late. When I ask for their impressions, they often speak of how beautiful it was. Some claim they were even moved to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. To stir the human soul is no small feat. And it pleases me to know that the River of Lights possesses All of such us power. Here are Bless I promise you. my hopes to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual curiosity. They have yet to be fulfilled. People are surrounded by cats, dogs, birds, and trees. They know that life is all around them, be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation, yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. <laughs> Forgive me for sharing my idle thoughts. Keeping them to myself is quite a challenge in my old age. I'm glad to know that Aerith has friends like you to keep her company. Today's experience was surely the will of the planet. May you cherish it all day. Oh, 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 oh. Well then, shall we proceed? Uh, but I thought this door was... Sealed so that none may enter? Why, yes. And by my own hand, no less. However, you've a trial to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself and become a Watcher of the Veil, that is. I presume you are prepared. Yeah. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. Then off we go! Now we follow the cave where it leads, deep as it will take us. told you anything about his parents yet? No. They were watchers, both of them. But they couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor. She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him? Why would I? I see. <laughs> From this point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial and his observer. Who's gonna observe? I'll do it. Ho 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 ho! Oh, that would render the trial meaningless. But if not him. Ah, you do nicely. Me? Him? Really? At least pretend not to hate me. Ho ho ho! Whenever you're ready. Ready.
you gonna watch my back? Yep. Earning holes in you right now. <laughs> what is this? This is a place of deep sorrow. A place where those who have been sealed away are left to mourn their... should be well within your power to climb. It is only natural. A fierce battle was waged here, and even after 45 years, the scars remain fresh. What? You're saying the Gi managed to make it all the way up here? <laughs> okay, somebody feel me here. Who are the Gi? The tribe knows a very few people outside of the Vale. The For now, let us proceed. Gotcha! 
The Watcher's work is never done. Where'd you run off to? Yes. I only got two legs here, you know. Only got two legs here, you know. I 
Only got two legs here, you know. Got two legs here, you know. circumstances, I would stress that you mustn't judge a book by its cover. For the Gi, however, they are as fearsome as their appearance implies. These are the things that killed my mom? Nanaki, this shall be your first trial. You are to explore this place. Understand the nature of its history. Okay, will do. Only then 
shall the path reveal itself unto you. If it isn't a E arrow, its point is coated with a poison that rapidly circulates through the body, slowing the wounded until they are completely turned to stone. Ugh! <sighs> 
traitor you fought was a fallen king. Even in death, their lingering enmity manifests as such. They who wander in search of retribution. That's kind of pathetic. Do not be so quick to denigrate your enemies, nor make light of their plight. Consider this statue. It has been placed in this chamber for a reason. Handle it with the utmost care. I will. Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. This one, guys. It's over! You ready for some fun? Gotcha! Try and stop me! What's going on? Are these altars? Interesting, because my first thought was, are we going to make it out of this place alive? <laughs> its decor is indeed the opposite of inviting. These look like the statue I picked up. If there is a reason for everything, then one could argue that everything has no reason. Regardless, you know what you must do, don't you? Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. Restore them to their rightful place.
Hey, where'd you run off to? Good. 